Satan, we're coming for everything you stole from us. Be on guard for your enemy, the adversary, walks around seeking those that he may devour. He walks around like a roaring lion, like a roaring lion. He is not a roaring lion. He is false. Our God is the lion of the tribe of Judah, not like a lion. He is. The lion, the king. Oh yeah, it ain't gonna be easy. We're gonna have to invade the enemy's camp. Yes, we're outnumbered. Oh, but we gonna get it back. We already stand victorious. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Coming back for everything the enemy stole from us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed are those that leave their houses, their spouses, their brothers, their sisters, their children for the Lord. I used to read that verse and I thought it meant you had to leave your family or for those that had left their family to go and serve the Lord that they would be blessed and receive a hundredfold blessing. Now... That I'm submitted to servanthood, submission, and obedience to the king. By the way, I fail a lot. <laughs> Sounds really good, but I just had to put that in there. But now that I am committed, submitted, and obedient to the king, comes a lot easier nowadays, a little faster. I also find that he means that any time you leave those loved ones to go and serve people, that's what he means. He's not meaning that you leave your family forever. He's saying those that leave your family to go and serve our eternal family, the host of heaven, the saints that are here now, his children, God's children, the ones that are hurt, that are backbiting, that are broken, that are in need, those, if we go, even if we leave our family to go and serve them, we will receive a hundredfold blessing. Now, that does not mean we go against our family. Our family's with us when we're going. They're praying for us. They're taking care of the household duties. They're being diligent in their spiritual walk with the Lord and their discipline practices and stuff like that. So, Satan, we're coming back for everything you stole. You are defeated. You have no power here. You are toothless. Your mere taunts and your mere doubts that you cast, they shall fall off and shed off of this armor. They can't even stick to it. Your fiery darts are quelled. Your weapons turn to dust in your hands. Any kind of plot that you try to devise in the night while I sleep, 
the Lord has already vanquished. It has already fallen apart in your hands as dust and ash, Satan. Get thee behind me, for it is written, you shall not touch the hair of one, the hair on the head of one of his elect. In Jesus' name. Satan, we're coming back for everything you stole from us. We are victorious in Jesus. Today is that day. Amen. Let us be about our Father's business today. Let us move forward in action and love. In word, thought, prayer, deed. Let us present ourselves before the King, holy and reverent. And not by our own hand, but by His sacrifice. For apart from Him, we can never be holy. He makes us such. It's His Holy Spirit dwelling in us that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. <clears throat> so practicality, what am I saying to y'all this morning? In this meditation, I'm saying that Satan and his enemies are encamped about a bunch of our people. And that they've stolen a bunch of their stuff. When I say stuff, I'm talking about happiness, joy, peace, self-control, soberness, um, faithfulness, truthfulness, truthfulness. Um, yeah, we ain't going to stand by and allow that to happen. Today, we're going to be about our father's business. We're going to go kick the enemy in the teeth and we're gonna reclaim some territory for the kingdom of heaven all right church i was listening to this awesome message and in that message i was it was a message about territory and some stuff like that and what blew me away was the fact that we are to possess territory. We are po to possess land in this realm. <coughs> and the land that we possess, we possess with the same heart that we either possess God or we possess the world. So what I mean by that is if we can claim territory, claim land, and we can possess that land. And we are godly men and women. Then that means God possesses that land. For we would not hold that land as our own. It would be his. December 7th. 2014. The Lord Jesus Christ came. <laughs> And he rescued me. He literally stepped out and stepped into my entirety and brought eternity with him. And let me tell you something. It wasn't pleasant. I was 34 years old. I had made a very uh, comfy space in hell for myself. And yet he kicked the door in and rescued me. During that, I lost the Lord. I didn't lose the Lord. I lost a bunch of possessions that the Lord allowed at that moment to take place. I lost a company. I lost a bunch of possessions. My house, five acres of land. Three vehicles. I lost two of my children for two years. I lost identity. The enemy stole a bunch of stuff from me. Satan. 
I'm coming back for everything you stole from me. In Jesus' name, I am victorious in him. Believe it or not, I'm very thankful that the Lord allowed this test and this time to take place because I fully believe and know that this time, <laughs> when the Lord gives back that which was stolen, pressed down, shaken up, running over, that uh, I will be about my father's business. And all those possessions, all that territory, it will be for the kingdom of heaven. Satan, I'm coming back for everything you stole from me. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> so it's been eight years, going on nine. Since the day that Christ stepped out and stepped into my life and solidified himself as the one and only true and living God. Let me tell you something. Life is different today. It's glorious and beautiful. I have purpose. I have a future. I have an identity in him. Jesus. I pray today that each and every one of y'all listening that come here daily or whenever I do post that today, any area or recess in your life that the enemy has a stronghold or has taken something from you, has stolen something from you, that there be a fire that is ignited, that the dry bones come alive. That there be a zeal and a zest, and a fervor in you, that you will not allow that to stand, that you will run and invade the enemy, that you will go into hell, that you will reclaim that which the Lord gave you, and that you will utilize it for his kingdom, for his people, and that you will do right by him that saved you. And I pray it happens today. I pray it happens now. I pray that you get up, that you get into your prayer closet, that you get on your face, that you ask the Lord for the strength of the Holy Spirit to defeat the enemy in your life today. Speak to him. Satan, get thee behind me in Jesus' name, for it is written, you shall not touch the hair of one of his elect. You have no power here. You are toothless. Jesus, I give you credence over my whole entirety, my whole life. Holy Spirit, I invite you into every dark recess, every crevice of my life. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you purge it, burn it out of my life, get it away from me. I want to be holy. I want to be yours. I want to be set apart. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be holy before your sight. I want to give you all 100% of my might. Every time I try and stand, I pray that I fall if it's on my own. But if you are with me, let me stand and run and shout and joy and say that love is the banner of the day. Carpe diem. Seize the day. Greatness requires more. I love you, Jesus. Amen. Go forth today and shake the enemy's camp. Do not allow him to just be there for free and make it easy. He going to work today if he wants any, any inch in this territory, and my God will not allow that. Abba. Jesus, King of kings, Lord of Lord, he is all. My king, your king, let his kingdom reign in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Continue your reign. And give us change today, Lord. Amen. <laughs>